Hey there, Falcons fans. I am DJ Shockley, and of course, we have hired a new head coach in Arthur Smith, and I am so excited to dive into some of the things that makes his offense click. And when I say click, I mean this offense is multiple. There's so many things that he does within this offense that makes it great. To start with, there are going to be tons of different formations. When I say multiple formations, I mean scheme, play call, he changes the personnel up, and most importantly, he uses motion and shift for a bunch of reasons. One is to figure out info, and the other one is to figure out impact. And I'm going to explain through a couple different plays what I mean by what he uses motion and shift for. We're also going to use some red zone stuff. We're going to talk about some of the great red zone he has last year. And also we're going to talk about some of the unique route concepts that fit the Falcons already just by his scheme and formation. So let's look forward to this. Let's dive into some of the things that Arthur Smith does really well. I'm going to show you exactly why this offense will be special for the Atlanta Falcons. Arthur Smith does so many things well from 20 to 20. But the one thing that he really excelled at was inside the red zone. The Titans led the league in red zone touchdown percentage at 75.2. So getting to the end zone and scoring touchdowns is what he's about. And I got a couple of plays I'm going to show you how he affects the defense with formation, with motion again, as well as the route concepts to get him in the end zone here. Now here's your big time receiver. He's going to come across in motion. When he comes across in motion, we're looking for info. Is anybody going with him? If somebody goes with him in man coverage, that tells you it's man if somebody goes with him. But also, you're motioning to this three-by-one set. You got your tight end on the back on the back side, and you can do a good job of forcing him to the outside, and this could be a multitude of routes. But here's the route concepts you're going to get. You're going to get the outside here. You're going to get outside here across the back end line. Really good versus man, really good versus zone. But where he really excels is here. This is going to be a little pivot route that comes in here and breaks outside. Now, while this route is so good, remember, I mentioned, this is going to be across the back end line. So that takes this defensive back with him. So now you have one-on-one -on -one with this particular defensive back and all this field to work with for your inside slot receiver. Now you're going to bring your other big time receiver coming across, and he's going to run a shallow cross. Now when he comes across, it changes the responsibility of this man coverage. They're going to want to pass this off. And when he comes across in man coverage, now the guy that has him in man coverage is the linebacker. Now the linebacker is on one of your skilled receivers and you have the backup you want with speed and now you can beat him to the corner and it just creates a huge, huge play. Get your back out the backfield here, which also expands the zone, but just a well-designed play here. You see the motion, you see the man coverage here. There's your man coverage. Now watch this shallow cross. When the shallow cross comes across, they're gonna pass it off and now he has him and man covers. This is the perfect example of what you like here. And he comes across and now he just beats him across his face and now you have a touchdown. Now go back to the rod at the top I talked about. Look at this rod here. This is an easy win right here. So not only do you have an out right here, but you're taking away these two particular defensive backs, taking away this guy. He's in no man's land. The back is taking the other linebacker out. Now you got one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker. Now you got one of your best slot receivers with all this grass to work and you have an easy access touchdown. And now this is why the Titans were so good in the red zone. He created with formation, motion, and changed the matchup that you like in the red zone and ultimately got to six points. Scoring points in the red zone is crucial. And last year, the Titans did a really good job of doing that. And here's another situation where he changes up, not just the formation, but he changes up the personnel to make it look like one thing to the defense and they come out and do something totally different. Now, what I mean by the change of the personnel is this is 12 personnel. And here's one of your tight ends in the backfield. Look at the versatility. This could easily be Hayden Hurst in the backfield. Here's another tight end who's going to come down in motion here. But to the defense, when you bring in two tight ends down here inside the five-yard line, it looks like run. You still got Derrick Henry in the ballgame. It still looks like run. But instead, you come out and you put your running back here in the slot, and now you got your tight end in the backfield. Now the communication has to start for a defense. Where's the main coverage? Who do I have? And now you're going to really put him in conflict by bringing him down in motion. You bring him down in motion and you stack these two guys. So now these two guys have to communicate on who do I have? But what else Arthur Smith does really well is not only does he put these two guys and make them go vertical here, he forces this guy as well to come up here and go vertical. So you have three guys who are flooding this particular zone 
And now it puts a lot of pressure on these guys to communicate on the outside. Now, you're also going to get your big-time receiver here, which is A.J. Brown here. It could easily be Julio, could be Calvin. But he's going to run what I call a, a little juke route. He's going to come in here. He's going to make like he's sitting down. Then he's going to stay on the move. Once again, a really good route versus man, really good route versus zone. Now, you're going to get him running on this corner out right here. And now you're going to have access. And when he comes here, another flat route. I'm going to show you how many guys are open because of the confusion that it causes at the line of scrimmage at the snap. Here comes the motion. Now they have to talk. You see him there. You see him talking. He's saying, you got out, I got in. He's trying to explain. Anything that comes out, you take it. But because this guy goes vertical and he's on the line of scrimmage, it forces him to have to go over the top because he wants to have him in man coverage. So now this little flat route will immediately be open because he has to go over the top. The small nuances, the details that Arthur Swift has put into this offense is really fun to watch. And now you see here, once he goes flat, now you see the vertical here. Because he goes vertical, he has to go over the top and look at him right now. He's wide open right now. If Tannehill wants to throw this football to him, he has it. Now here comes your other tight end coming out across the back. This, he's going to come across here. And now here's A.J. Brown. Here's Calvin Ridley. Here's... Julio Jones working this little pivot route. Watch as it un, un, as it develops. He's going to come out and come across. And he's going to give eyesight to his quarterback. But remember, number one is open right now if you want it. He did that by he created that space. And now if he wants to throw that, look at that. That's wide open. He has that. But now he's going through his progression. Look how muddy and cloudy this is. You got four guys really covering nobody. And this is the number one guy in this particular concept. Now, here's your receiver on the backside. Here's that juke route. He makes it look like he's sitting down. They have him pretty good bracketed. But once he stays on the move, he uncovers. And now the quarterback has time to find him. And look at there. An easy walk-in touchdown. And these are some of the things that Arthur Smith does really well. Creating space. Make sure that every guy who's in the route concept has an opportunity to catch the football and stresses a defense in so many ways.